When I first saw this, I was at least partially very sympathetic to what's going on here. Uh, the world is a very dangerous place, as we saw recently in, in the tragic incidents in Paris, and you want to have security agencies be well adept at discerning what those threats are over our horizon, primarily to protect Canadians here in Canada, but also to protect our troops abroad and whatever missions we have, and to see that they are actively engaged in ferreting out who's uh, accessing material that is very dangerous is on first blush kind of reassuring. You want them to be doing their job. It's only when you stand back and, and look at it in a broader context that you realize, as always, the devil is in the details. So here we see evidence of Canada engaged in uh, uh, mass surveillance. So let's piece it together. Uh, the Canadian Signals Intelligence Agency is monitoring hundreds of free file uploading sites, uh, determining who is connecting to those sites. And to be able to do that, they have to access uh, the IP addresses of anyone, anywhere in the world who is accessing material on those websites. In order to do that, they have data from what they refer to obliquely in intelligence parlor as special source. And that usually refers to some kind of telecommunications company. That is one of the devils in the details that we should be worried about. What is the arrangement by which our signals intelligence agency, under what authority are they able to go to whatever telecommunications company or companies this is, to be able to get that information to find out exactly what IP address is connecting to those uh, foreign free uh, file uploading sites. To be able to monitor hundreds of file uploading sites in terms of who's connecting to them from any country, you need to have access to data sources that are international. So uh, whereas 20, 30, 50 years ago, our signals intelligence agencies could be described legitimately as mostly concerned with intercepting signals that come our way and cross our borders in a defensive perimeter style. We're now reaching out across the globe. That raises one very important question about our obligations with our human rights commitments. Uh, it is definitely in violation of uh, the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, which Canada is a party to. Uh, recently, the Special Rapporteur at the UN on Counterterrorism came out and said mass surveillance of uh, uh, non-nationals, which we're doing in this case, is uh, not appropriate. It's an infringement. It's not in the spirit of human rights. So if we're actually committed to human rights worldwide, and we're doing this, we're not uh, practicing what we preach. Canadians need to understand and, and have a debate about the extent to which it's okay for their government to be watching everything they do. Is it okay in, in, in the pursuit of uh, radical extremists and defending Canadians from possible harm that the government sets up a giant digital x-ray machine over everything that we do? because that's effectively where we're headed right now. And that debate I don't think has not happened in this country.